turn the lights back into my lights. Of my angle, boys. A uh, light. Wow. What well, I said to you, that you could get rid of all this harshness uh, and control the light somewhat, because a lot of light spill, you see, with an angle poised light. Even if you've got a daylight bulb and, yeah. Now, I know what you're going to say, why don't you just get yourself a studio light? What do you mean? What, one of these ones over here. Yeah, with a softbox on it. Yeah, you could do that, yeah. It costs money, though. Well, let's say, for instance, you don't want to spend a lot of money. Not everyone's got loads of money, have they? Well, why not make yourself a snoop and diffuser for your angle poised light, like I did. Just here, you see. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, it's my snoot. And how do I make that? Well, I made that with a gallon bucket. Okay, in this case, it was actually uh, a plastic container that my cascomite powder resin wood glue came in. And uh, it's of the right dimensions thereabouts. You see, this is a eight inch or 200 millimeter in diameter uh, that re uh, reflect on this angle poised light. I'm sorry about the light going off and on, obviously, because I've been looking at the light. So. <laughs> so what I did is, I, I slid the bucket over, I thought, oh, hang on, that'll do. And I found myself some diffuser material, and what did I use? Ooh, well, I got the kids' TV, luckily they were left home, and I ripped it all to pieces, it's a flat screen television, and they have a diffuser layer in them, and that's what that is. That is the diffuser, I have a flat screen TV, it's that cycling, you know. i just got in a tip otherwise, no. So what I've done is, I cut the bottom of the bucket out, okay? Neatly, just with a Stanley knife, just neatly. And uh, obviously don't cut towards yourself, because you slice yourself, okay? I nearly did it twice. Anyway, and then I glued it on with some super glue, which is quite well fitting, really, considering I used Eureka, a cask of my, you know, pad resin wood glue for the actual bucket. And the glue that I used, the super glue I used, was by Eureka as well. <laughs> How about that? Yeah. And then on the inside, I used some of that foil. You know the uh, foil insulation you get, you know, that thin stuff? Uh, well, you can get a tape, like an aluminium foil tape. And I stuck that all the inside as well, and that increased, obviously, the reflect, uh, reflective quality. Inside, you, know, you lose less light that way. I do apologise that the light is going up and down, but obviously, because I've got a light. Okay, you got a light, boy? Yeah, 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 there you go. So all we do is, as you can see, that's really, really harsh, all right? So I place that over the top there as well, and it controls the spill. So without it, it's lighting all the background a lot, isn't it, you know, which I didn't want. I just want the light on me because I'm a beautiful face. Yeah, and, and I place that on there like so, it controls a lot of the spill. Yeah, and it's softer as well. It works, you know, and it just fits onto the treat, you see. Yeah, so you can make your own flip and uh, diffuse the snoot, if you like. You could even put a honeycomb on it if you wanted to, but you could, yeah. So, hasn't got to cost a fortune, just sometimes you've got to think outside the box, or in this case, a gallon bucket.